I don't know who you are, friend, but you made a serious mistake coming here. Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing, now! Captain! Your men are dead, and your trap has failed. I suggest running back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave! I am not a slave. I apologize. When I asked Anso to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. Don't worry. We do this sort of thing often. Impressive. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial bounty hunters, seeking to recover a Magister's lost property. Namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, Anso chose wisely. Everything Anso said was a lie, then? Not everything. Your employer was simply not who you believed. If you couldn't fight them, why not just run? There comes a time when you must stop running, when you turn and face the tiger. That seems like a lot of effort to find one slave. It is. Does this have something to do with those markings? <laughs> yes. I imagine I must look strange to you. I did not receive these markings by choice. Even so, they have served me well. Without them, I would still be a slave. If they were really trying to recapture you, then I'm happy I helped. I have met few in my travels who have sought anything more than personal gain. If I may ask, what was in the chest, the one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You were expecting something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. All that for an empty chest? No, there's more. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. It sounds like you intend to do more than just talk. Daenerys wants to strip the flesh from my bones, and has sent so many hunters that I've lost count. And before that, he kept me on a leash like a Kunari mage, a personal pet to mock Kunari custom. So, yes, I intend to do more than just talk. If it means fighting more slavers, I'll help you. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. No one has left the mansion, but I've heard nothing within. Daenerys may know we're here. I wouldn't put it past him. I could stand to know a little more about this Daenerys. He is a Magister of the Tevinter Imperium. Oh, is that all? Nothing to worry about, then. There, he is a wealthy mage with great influence. Here, he is but a man who sweats like any other when death comes for him. What's the worst that could happen? I do not fear death. That does not mean we should be reckless. It never ends. I escaped a land of dark magic, only to have it hunt me at every turn. It is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul. And now I find myself in the company of yet another mage. I saw you casting spells inside. I should have realized sooner what you really were. Tell me then, what manner of mage are you? What is it that you seek? I'm just trying to get by. Yet I have seen many crimes done in the name of survival. If you have a problem with my sister, you have a problem with me. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize, for nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Daenerys, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. 
Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. You said Daenerys is a magister, but little else. In Tevinter, the magisters hold all the power. Over the Chantry, over the Imperial Court, over life itself. It is nothing for one to own a slave. Daenerys had many, but none he valued so much as me. Then how did you get away? Is it not enough that I did? I carved my path to freedom in blood. I left that life behind, yet his bounty hunters follow me no matter where I go. I will run no longer. Your old master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium, burned into my flesh to provide the power that Daenerys required of his pet. And now, he wishes his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse. Perhaps you can find a way to pay him back. I will pay him back, in blood. You have no idea what he's done to me, what I went through just to get away. I think I'm beginning to get the picture. That was unworthy of me. The truth is, I know nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Daenerys's choice, one he now regrets. I've seen some of your abilities. Do they come from those markings? Some. All I know is that even in the Imperium, warriors such as myself are rare. Perhaps they believe I should feel honored. Do you think your master will keep chasing you? He is too proud not to. Perhaps one day the hunt will cost him more than he is willing to pay. But I doubt that matters any longer. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal. Agrigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Daenerys used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. I can't imagine why they would be put off. I'll take that as a compliment. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You could have offered me a glass first, you know. There's more, if you're really interested. Perish the thought. How else would you redecorate the walls? <laughs> hmm. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I grew up in Ferelden. It will always be my home. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? I have to admit, it's an attractive idea. But not now. I understand. Still, to have the option... Must be gratifying. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but... There is no life for me there. Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. You've been on the run a long time, then. Three years now. Daenerys has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. 
I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. But it sounds like you want to stick around. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Yes, you should. Had I known Anso would find me a woman so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. You sound like you're about to ask for a loan. Well, this mansion does require some upkeep. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. I can open the way forward. One moment. Blood magic? Foolish. Very foolish. Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? Call it what it is. You summoned a demon. Demons are just spirits, like honor or joy. It's not their fault they are what they are. Ignore the tiger. Not its fault that it's going to eat you. Sound advice. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. In the days of Arlathon, the elders came here to sleep. Uthanara, the endless dream they called it, but they don't sleep peacefully anymore. Ahare namalana salen. Emma ira au bella seviranan. Isalahamin vinanhim dofilas. In Uthanera Narivas. Ah, and here we are. A witch. It's all right, Fenris. She means us no harm. Andarana Tishian Ashabalana. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. No one wanted to buy it. Maybe because it had a witch inside? Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. You were no simple witch. Figured that out yourself, did you? I have seen powerful mages, spirits, and abominations. But you are none of those things. What are you? Such a curious lad. The chains are broken, but are you truly free? You see a great deal. I am a fly in the ointment. I am a whisper in the shadows. I am also an old, old woman. More than that, you need not know. Is that someone I should know? She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. 
I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or your enemy. Neither is she. You have plans, I take it. Destiny awaits us both, dear girl. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. Cheap advice from a dragon. We all have our challenges. As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Masaranus Ashabelana. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks and my sympathy. Elganon, is this, is this really where the elves live? Yes, this is it. Not the prettiest part of Kirkwall, but it doesn't have a view of the giant chains. Take what you can get. I didn't think it would be so, so... I've never seen so many people in one place before. It seems so lonely. Working your way up will be fun. All right, that was a lie. It won't be fun. Some adventurer I am. Barely set out and I'm already daunted. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. Of course. But only because you used that you kicked my puppy voice. Thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though. Why, look here, boys. Volunteers. Clap him in irons and let's see what the Tevinters will pay for him. Make him talk. I can do that. <gasps> Andraste's great flaming ass. How did you do that? Never mind, I, I've stashed the boy in a cave, a smuggler hideout on the wounded coast. Tevinters will be by to finish the deal today. Now, c c can I go? Sure. Oh, wait. I meant no. Mistress Hawk. So much for not attracting Templar attention. Ariane tells me you sought a better path than the Circle for her son, Fainriel. I thought perhaps you would be willing to show mages a kindness once more. What? You can't be nice yourself? You are no Templar. You cannot know what a badge of shame that would be. There are a number of apostates hiding in those caverns. And you've allowed this? I was hoping you might speak to the group. Convince them to surrender peacefully before my fellow Templars arrive. Who are these apostates? Where did they come from? These are the mages of the former circle at Starkhaven. It burned to the ground and their Templars sent for us to relocate the survivors. Unfortunately, they escaped on the journey. With their phylacteries burned, it has been nearly impossible to track them. What's a phylactery? When a mage joins the circle, the first enchanter takes a sample of his blood. It is used as a focus to track the mage should he escape. Do the other Templars intend to do worse than recapture the mages? Sir Caress is a knight lieutenant of the Templars, a great crony of Meredith. Should he find apostates hiding from pursuit, Meredith will consider him justified in murdering the lot of them. 
Who's Meredith? You have clearly not been in Kirkwall long. Meredith is Knight Commander. She has changed the rules for mages in Kirkwall. They are less free than elsewhere. Though I dare say she has created as much dissent as obedience. If you've got this many mages escaping, you Templars aren't too good at your jobs. These mages have shown they attack Templars on sight. You have a better chance than I to convince them they are better off alive in the circle than free and dead. Sir Karas hunts them as well. If they have not surrendered by the time he arrives, this will be a bloodbath. Maker's blessing! I thought I was going to die down here in this... this tomb. Are you with the Templars? Please, I need to go back to the Circle. I never wanted to get involved in this. Not when he started making those... those... things. Who is he? Decimus. It was his decision. He kept saying the Templars would label us blood mages if we fled. Why not use it if it's our best tool? Typical excuse. He slit his wrist and the magic... It rose from the blood and woke the skeletons in the cave. I ran. Decimus is wrong. Blood magic is a work of evil, not just a power the Templars keep from us for spite. Decimus is the leader of these mages. He's crazy. He said with our phylacteries gone, no one could find us. We would be free. I think maybe he set the fire. There must be a demon working through him. No normal man would profane the dead like this. The Templar Thrask is waiting outside. Surrender to him and you won't be hurt. I surrender. Take me to the Templars. I don't want anything to do with this... blood magic. The rest of them, they're still following Decimus. He's gone mad. I think he'd kill us all just to take the Templars down. They're here! The Templars have come to take us back to the Circle. Decimus, no! Stay your hand. These are no Templars. What do I care what shield they carry? If they challenge us, the dead themselves will meet the call. You killed him? Oh, Decimus. You should have listened to me, love. I saw what you are. How could you murder one of your own just for daring to defy the Templars? You think he brought those skeletons to life to serve me tea? I warned him. I told him once he marked himself as a blood mage, that was all anyone would see. Are we supposed to believe that you had no part in his actions? I swear to you, I have had no truck with demons. Please, we only want our freedom. Without your help, the Templars will execute us all for Decimus's crimes. You followed him. You should all face punishment. If you try to turn us in, do not think your own talents will go unremarked. Do not doubt that the Templars will let an extra apostate share our punishment. These are blood mages. Not like you or Bethany. And what do you think happens if we start killing Templars? Will you buy us time to flee Kirkwall? Oh, just a little murder, is that it? Uh, no. Then lay down your arms. I am trying to save our lives, not throw them away. We will come with you. I'll make sure the way out is clear. Are you saying there isn't anyone inside? Then where did that apprentice come from? I followed the tracks from the caravan site, but the boy says the others already left. Don't lie, Thrask. I know you're soft on the robes. I followed the same tracks and... What do we have here? Would you believe a group of innocent picnickers? Who is this, Thrask? Now you require mercenaries to carry out your duties. I was hoping to avoid bloodshed by sending a neutral party to negotiate. Well, much obliged. Now let's take these demon worshippers to the chopping block. Knight Commander wants them executed before Orsino hears about it. No! And you wonder why we fear them? Please, you must protect us. I think maybe we all need to take a deep breath. Start over. 
Grace, this is Thrask. Thrask... The Circle is a sanctuary, not a prison. If you kill these people, I will see you disciplined by the Divine herself. Knight Commander says no rebel robes get to preach to the Tame Ones. Are you truly going to send us off with this monster? Monster or not, he's a better bet than a demon. Then we truly have no hope. You seem a decent man, Templar. I must place the lives of all these people in your hands. Don't count on him being around long enough to help you, Sunshine. I will do all I can. I swear you this. I've got some good news and some bad news. What? What is it? Good news. Karen is safe. Bad news. Half of your recruits may have been possessed by demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. De demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Marsha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. The Templars have good reason to be vigilant. Karen, I'm afraid I must relieve you of your commission. If there is any chance he still harbors a demon in him... No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. He is not to blame. But tell that to the victims if it turns out that our suspicions are correct. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. If a demon infiltrated the Templar Order, it would be disastrous. No. Why bother to save me if you're just going to cast me into the streets? My brother is a good man, Sirrah. You cannot truly think this of him. Effective immediately, Karen. You are discharged from the Templar Order. Escort him from the grounds. What? I was tortured. I've done nothing wrong. I shudder to think what the Knight Commander will do when she learns of this Blood Mage's plot. Set a guard to watch him, just in case. For your actions, take this. It's the reward I promised, and more. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. I have told the Knight Commander of your service. Oh, more attention. That's just grand. She commends your understanding of the threat Karen posed. You sound Ferelden. How did you end up here? I was in the Circle Tower in Ferelden when Uldred summoned his demons. I was held in a cage for... I can't even say. Weeks? Months? It was one unending nightmare. I watched what those mages did, what they became. I would gladly give my life to avoid seeing that again. What's it like being in the Order? Do you feel you're accomplishing anything? The Templars are not a good choice for anyone who requires a strong sense of achievement. It is a losing battle. Every day new mages are born in Thedas. Every day those born a dozen years ago come into their power. The best we can do is to contain the threat, and recruit more to fill our own ranks when they're emptied. Well... Once someone admits to consorting with demons, it's a little easier to take sides. That's a surprisingly unpopular viewpoint. Yet a sensible one. It used to be that Templars were welcomed wherever they went, for defending people from dark magics. Now the townsfolk are as likely to slam their doors as offer us a bed. The image of the poor, chained apprentice is a powerful one, and one the mages are more than willing to exploit. So the Seneschal's tax collector won't be coming around again like you asked. Funny story. I'll pass, but thank you for the help. Spoil sport. Why you want to squat up here in Hightown is beyond me. I like the view. So do I. Three years. 
There's still no sign of Daenerys. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. Don't tell me you're going to miss all the attention. Tell me, what do you do when you stop running? You take a breath and look around. And start anew. I don't know how. My first memory is receiving these markings. The lyrium being branded into my flesh. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. I might be able to help with your problems. Or give you a few more. <laughs> Only a few? It depends if I really work at it. Tempting. You're a beautiful woman, Hawk. Is there no one else who has your attention? I didn't quite catch that first part. <laughs> I don't need to repeat the obvious, I'm certain. I'm an escaped slave and an elf living in a borrowed mansion. None of those things bother you. And I'm an apostate refugee. Does that bother you? You have me there. You raise an interesting point. I'll have to... consider it. Last bottle of the Egregio. I've been saving it for a special occasion. And what's that? The anniversary of my escape. Astia Vala Fermundis. Care to hear the story? I enjoy listening to you talk. <laughs> there are few pleasures greater than speaking with a beautiful woman. Let's see. You've heard of Saharan? The Imperium and the Kunari have fought over the island for centuries now. I was there with Daenerys during a Kunari attack. I managed to get him to a ship, but there was no room for a slave. I was left behind. I barely got out of the city alive. There's nothing like war for covering one's escape. I had no intention of escaping. That time. There are rebels in the Saharan jungles called Fog Warriors. They found me and took me in, nursed me back to health. I stayed with them for a time, until Daenerys finally came for me. Were you with these Fog Warriors willingly? I'd grown fond of the rebels. They bowed to no master and fought for their freedom. It was beyond my experience. When Daenerys came, they refused to let him take me. He ordered me to kill them. So I did. I... killed them all. Why would you do such a thing? It felt inevitable. My master had returned and this... this fantasy life was over. But once it was done... I looked down at their bodies. I felt... I couldn't. I ran. And never looked back. Couldn't you have found other Fog Warriors? Become a rebel? Even if I did, I felt... unworthy. I had no way of knowing if I could truly escape from Daenerys then. I didn't even know what that meant. I simply had to get away. I stowed aboard a ship to the mainland and moved south. Chased by my former master every step of the way. How well did you know these Fog Warriors? I knew them only a few months, but in that time, I felt as if I truly lived. They were bold, strong, free with their affections. I was in awe of them and owed them everything. And I turned on them even so. Didn't Daenerys stop you? The rebels had wounded him. The soldiers he brought attempted to capture me, unsuccessfully. It was weeks before Daenerys was able to mount the hunt in earnest, but by then, I was already gone. This can't be easy to talk about. I've never spoken about what happened to anyone. 
I've never wanted to. Perhaps this is what it means to have a friend. It might mean more than that. I... have never allowed anyone too close. When my markings were created, the pain was... extraordinary, and the memory lingers. But you are unlike any woman I have ever met. With you, it might be different. We could find out. On another evening, perhaps. A last toast, then. To the Fallen! Isabella, my dusky goddess, you have buried yourself in the flesh of my heart like a worm in a red, red apple. You heartworm, you. Oh, look, my friend is here. Excuse me. But I haven't gotten to the part where I invite you to feast upon my tender white flesh. That's all right. I think I'll manage. Speaking of romance, you and Fenris, eh? That taut, controlled body, the brooding demeanor and intense gaze. I hear he still wears the shackles from his life in bondage under his clothes. You know what they say about men like that, don't you? I'm going to regret asking you to continue, aren't I? He can't find a saw. <laughs> <sighs> I had you there. You thought I was going to say something dirty. <laughs> Hunters. Stop right there! You are in possession of stolen property. Back away from the slave now and you'll be spared. Fenris is a free man. I won't repeat myself. Back away from the slave now. I am not your slave. Where is he? <sighs> Please don't. Kill me. Oh, Tell me. I don't know. I don't know, I swear. Adriana brought us. She's at the holding caves north of the city. I can show you the way. No need. I know which ones you speak of. Then let me go. I beg you. I swear you I won't... You chose the wrong master. <gasps> Adriana. I was a fool to think I was free. They'll never let me be. This is someone you know. My old master's apprentice. I remember her well. A sniveling social climber that would sell her own children if she thought it would please Daenerys. If she's here, it's at his bidding. I knew he wouldn't let this go. Then why are we standing around? The holding caves held slaves in the old times, but apparently they are no longer abandoned. We must go quickly, before Hadriana has a chance to prepare, or flee. We must be careful. There were many such holdings once, especially in the mountains where individual slavers kept private pens. They were designed to protect against raids by fellow slavers. No doubt it's why Hadriana chose this place. Do slavers attack each other often? They did. What better way to find slaves than to steal them? The holdings outside of Tevinter have mostly been abandoned, but they still exist. Maybe she wanted to redecorate. Add a few flowers. She's not a flowers kind of woman. Let's hope this isn't a waste of time. Are you hurt? Did they touch you? They've been killing everyone! They cut Papa, bled him. Why? Why would they do this? It's a demon at work. By this point, there's nothing human left inside. The Magister. She said she needed power, that someone was coming to kill her. We tried to be good. We did everything we were told. She loved Papa's soup. I don't understand. Is the Magister still here? I think so. 
The Magister said they were to prepare for battle. I think she's very frightened. She has every reason to be. Please don't hurt her. She'll be so angry if you hurt her. You're just a slave to them. Property to be used. Everything was fine until today. It wasn't. You just didn't know any better. Are you my master now? No. But I can cook. I can clean. What else will I do? If you go to Kirkwall, I can help you. Yes? Oh, praise the Maker. Thank you. I didn't realize you were in the market for a slave. I gave her a job, Fenris. Ah, then... that's good. My apologies. Let's find Hadriana and be done with this place. Stop! You do not want me dead! There is only one person I want dead more. I have information, Elf. And I will trade it in return for my life. Ha! <laughs> The location of Daenerys. What good will that do me? I'd rather he lose his pet pupil. You have a sister. She is alive. You wish to reclaim your life? Let me go, and I will tell you where she is. How do we know you're even telling the truth? You don't. But I know Fenris, and I know what he's searching for. If he wants me to betray Daenerys, He'll have to pay for it. This is your call. So I have your word. I tell you, and you let me go. Yes. You have my word. Her name is Verania. She is in Carinus, serving a magister by the name of Araman. A servant, not a slave. She's not a slave. I believe you. We are done here. Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. This could be a trap. Daenerys could have sent Hadriana here to tell me about this sister. Even if he didn't, trying to find her would still be suicide. Daenerys has to know about her and has to know that Hadriana knows. But all that matters is I finally got to crush this bitch's heart. May she rot, and all the other mages with her. And here I thought you were unreasonable. Maybe we should leave. Don't comfort me. You saw what was done here. There's always going to be some reason, some excuse why mages need to do this. Even if I found my sister, who knows what the Magisters have done to her? What has magic touched that it doesn't spoil? I... need to go. I've been thinking about what happened with Hadriana. I took out my anger on you, undeservedly so. I was... not myself. I'm sorry. I had no idea where you went. I was concerned. I needed to be alone. When I was still a slave, Hadriana was a torment. She would ridicule me, deny my meals, hound my sleep. Because of her status, I was powerless to respond, and she knew it. The thought of her slipping out of my grasp now. I couldn't let her go. I wanted to. But I couldn't. What do you mean? This hate. I thought I'd gotten away from it. But it dogs me no matter where I go. To feel it again. To know it was they who planted it inside me. It was too much to bear. Ah, but I didn't come here to burden you further. You don't need to leave, Fenris.
<laughs> was it that bad? I'm sorry, it's not... It was fine. No, that is insufficient. It was better than anything I could have dreamed. Oh? I can come up with much crazier things in my dreams. I began to remember my life before. Just flashes. It's too much. This is too fast. I, I cannot do this. Your life before? What do you mean? I've never remembered anything from before the ritual. But there were faces, words. For just a moment, I could recall all of it. And then it slipped away. If it brings your memory back, maybe we need to do it more often. Perhaps you don't realize how upsetting this is. I've never remembered anything. And to have it all come back in a rush, only to lose it. I can't. I can't. We can work through this. I'm sorry. I feel like such a fool. All I wanted was to be happy. Just for a little while. Forgive me. Enchantment! No, Leandra. Leandra. Shouting won't make him understand you better, you know. There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm sure she's all right. Why are you so upset? Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Camlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. It doesn't hurt to be optimistic. Maybe... Maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. I told you already. I saw her. Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Here's a few silver. Buy yourself some food and new shoes. <gasps> That's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him, and I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left, and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose. And nice clothes. But they were all stained from the blood. Ah. <sighs> I never thought I'd curse my mother's kind-heartedness. You could be wrong about all of this. Maybe the flowers don't mean anything. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow it. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. You've been here before, haven't you? I wonder if we'll find more than just a sack of bones this time. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. Mother! <gasps> Alessa!
Mother's locket. This isn't a good sign. What is this? The woman in the painting. She almost looks like Mother. A shrine dedicated to a wife? A sister? I need to find her. Now. I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Mother always knew me best. Yes. And she spoke so fondly of you. What a lovely, gentle woman. You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. You're crazy. I get it. Where's my mother? I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers. And at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I've searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us. There's nothing I can do. His magic was keeping her alive. I knew you would come. You know me? I always save the day. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. But now, I'm free. I get to see Bethany again. And your father. But you'll be here alone. I should have watched over you more closely. I should have... My little girl has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. I don't know what to say, but I am here. Am I to blame for not saving her? I could say no, but would that help? You are looking for forgiveness, but I'm not the one who can give it to you. And then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? For you, I have all the time in the world. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. People say you and that uh, elf, you know, the angsty uh, Tevinter one, are becoming quite the item. So, what's going on, Hawk? Well, well, well. I never thought you were the type, Varric. I'm flattered. It's the chest hair, isn't it? Women can never resist my chest hair. Unfortunately, it's not to be. I'm spoken for. 
Uh, Bianca stands in my way again, does she? What can I say? She's the jealous type. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. You do know the elf is covered in spikes, like an angsty porcupine. He might have some issues. In all the time you've known me, have I ever given you the impression that I was turned off by crazy? <laughs> okay, point taken. A fascinating breed. Such intelligence and strength. Do you ever wonder what he thinks about? I'm not always sure I want to know. Are you aware that this breed originated in Tevintum? The Magisters bred them. It's said the Mabari defected during the Imperium's invasion of Ferelden. Merely a tale, but I rather like the idea they found the Barbarians more palatable than the mages. Exactly so. Let's hope your hound doesn't take after his ancestors too strongly, hmm? It's over. The city has been saved! It appears Kirkwall has a new champion. Are you certain it's her? An elf matching your description on the ship you named. And alone, as far as I could tell. I need to know if it's a trap. I did as you asked, Fenris. Now it's up to you. You talk to him, Hawk. I've had my fill for today. Then heed is fast of us. Maybe I can help, Fenris. <sighs> it's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was true. I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. She was in Carinus after all. My sister left Magister Araman's service, and I found her in Minrathus. That made things more difficult. But according to the men I paid, it's just as Hadriana said. She's not a slave. She's a tailor, in fact. Getting a letter to her was difficult, and she didn't believe me at first. But she's finally come. You're worried Daenerys knows? The more it seems he doesn't know, the more certain I become he does. Come with me, Hawk. I need you there when I meet her. Where is she? If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there, for the next week at least. It would mean a lot to me. That's all I ask. I have something for you. It... it's a book. I see your eyesight is still working fine. The book is by Shartan, the elf who helped Andraste free the slaves. You know about him, right? A little. It's just... slaves are not permitted to read. I've never learned. It's not too late to learn, Fenris. Isn't it? Sometimes I wonder. I don't mean to seem ungrateful. I do appreciate the thought. I've always wanted to learn more of Shartan. Perhaps this is my chance. It really is, Hugh. Verania? I... I remember you. We played in our master's courtyard while Mother worked. You called me... Leto. That's your name. 
What's wrong? Why are you so... I'll give you three guesses. Ah, my little Fenris. Predictable as always. I'm sorry it came to this, Leto. You led him here. Now, now, Fenris. Don't blame your sister. She did what any good Imperial citizen should. I never wanted these filthy markings, Daenerys. But I won't let you kill me to get them. <laughs> How little you know, my pet. And this is your new mistress, then. The champion of Kirkwall. Quite lovely. Fenris doesn't belong to anyone. Do I detect a note of jealousy? <laughs> it's not surprising. The lad is rather skilled, isn't he? Shut your mouth, Daenerys! <sighs> the word is master. <laughs> you are no longer my master. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I had no choice, Leto. Stop calling me that. He was going to make me his apprentice. I would have been a magister. You sold out your own brother to become a magister? Your sister's a mage? You bloody hypocrite. You really are just jealous. You have no idea what we went through. What I've had to do since Mother died. This was my only chance. And now you have no chance at all. Please, don't do this. Please, tell him to stop. Wait, don't kill her. Why not? She was ready to see me killed. What is she to me other than just one more tool of the Magisters? This is your family, Fenris. Get out. You said you didn't ask for this, but that's not true. You wanted it. You competed for it. When you won, you used the boon to have Mother and I freed. Why are you telling me this? Freedom was no boon. I look on you now, and I think you received the better end of the bargain. I thought discovering my past would bring a sense of belonging, but I was wrong. Magic has tainted that too. There is nothing for me to reclaim. I am alone. I'm here, Fenris. You heard what Verania said. I wanted these. I fought for them. I feel unclean, like this magic is not only etched into my skin, but has also stained my soul. Let's go. I need to get out of here. You don't need to stay in this pit anymore, you know. Not that you haven't, uh, fixed it up nicely. It's falling apart, and my ability to keep the Seneschal from noticing is nearing an end. I appreciate what you've done, Eveline. But you're staying. You could go anywhere now. Perhaps I don't wish to go anywhere. Freedom must be a terrible burden, I guess. They don't understand. Yes, I am free. Daenerys is dead. Yet, it doesn't feel like it should. Seems like you should be dancing for joy. I would have thought so. I thought if I didn't need to run and fight to stay alive, I would finally be able to live as a free man does. But how is that? My sister is gone, and I have nothing. Not even an enemy. Maybe that just means there's nothing holding you back. Hmm. An interesting thought. It's just... difficult to overlook the stain that magic has left on my life. If I seem bitter, it's not without cause. Perhaps it is time to move forward. I just don't know where that leads. Do you? Wherever it leads. I hope it means we'll stay together. That is my hope, as well. We have never discussed what happened between us three years ago. You didn't want to talk about it. 
I felt like a fool. I thought it better if you hated me. I deserve no less. But it isn't better. That night, I remember your touch as if it were yesterday. I should have asked your forgiveness long ago. I hope you can forgive me now. I need to understand why you left, Fenris. I've thought about the answer a thousand times. The pain, the memories it brought up, it was too much. I was a coward. If I could go back, I would stay. Tell you how I felt. What would you have said? Nothing could be worse than the thought of living without you. Oh, I don't know. This might be fun to hold over you a while longer. If there is a future to be had, I will walk into it gladly at your side. I know it isn't my place to criticize, but are you sure about Fenris? He seems less a man to me than a wild dog. You just don't know him. I know as much as I'm ever likely to. That's right, mage. He has let one bad experience color his whole world. Surely you want someone more open-minded. A mage and a hypocrite. What company you keep. Take a look at this. A blade of mercy? I remember these. You see them in the Imperium, replicas of the sword Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. I thought it might be worth something. It is. Here, let me show you. These are gifts of honor, given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Daenerys coveted them, as I recall. You don't talk about the Imperium much. It's not a place I remember fondly. Doesn't the Chantry forbid mages to rule over men? <laughs> ah, yes. Magic is meant to serve man and not rule over him. In the Imperium, they say that means magic should serve the greater good, which they claim the Magisters do. Do not believe it. What do the Magisters do that's so bad? What you call the Circle of Magi rules the Imperium. They control the Chantry as well as the Templars. They claim the Magisters are governed by holy law, but they are the law. They do as they please, all of them. So they all use forbidden magic? The more powerful the mage, the higher he rises in the Senate. He makes the laws, he determines what is acceptable. Everyone who wishes to compete must do the same or be crushed. Perhaps it wasn't always this way, but it is now. The slave trade is still in operation in the Imperium. It varies from one Archon to the next. One outlawed it many years ago. He was quickly assassinated. Tevinter would crumble without slaves. The Imperium's elite know no other way. Seems like a slave rebellion would end that. There are rebellions all the time, actually. Most of them end poorly. The Senate always unites when faced with sedition. One day, things will change. Then the Magisters will see just how fragile their hold is. I heard that the Imperium has been at war with the Kunari for decades. Ever since the Kunari landed on the island of Saharan, yes. Eighty years ago? Perhaps more. The Archon demanded aid from the rest of Thedas. It didn't get him far. They've been at war a long time. The Kunari only ever wanted Saharon, which they have. The Imperium has made numerous attempts to retake the island, without real success. I believe the Kunari are saving their strength, building a massive fleet. When they wish true war, we will know. Are the Kunari that strong? They once fought all the lands of Thedas to a standstill. If they wanted to conquer the Imperium, they would. From what I saw on Sir Heron, they will not relent. They believe even more strongly than the Magisters that they are in the right. The blade is yours if you want it. For me? Yes. 
I think I'd like that. I'll think of the irony as I wield it. Thank you, Hawk. Could you make me a sweater? No. <sighs> the first order of business is getting out of here before His Grace decides we would taste good in the soup. Or whatever he has planned. Any ideas? Oh, I'm sure the others will be along any minute now. That's it. I'm taking the lead. You think I'm going to trust you to find Hawk? Could you stop with the all mages are evil diatribe for one minute? They may not all be evil, but one of them in particular is extremely annoying. <sighs> That's it. I'm officially tired of waiting to be rescued. Why didn't you just do that before? You said your friends were coming. There you are. Were you hurt? What happened? Let's go anywhere but here. You lead the way. So, back through the castle then? There's a better way than fighting through the Duke's entire army. I'll show you. You frightened me. Me? Before we found you, there was a moment when I... Don't do that again. away from me the empress will hear of this all i will burn kirkwall to the ground all of you will die screaming i swear it i would have tried begging for mercy but that's just me you filthy oh. thank you for the lovely party i'll treasure the belt They never learn. Looks like the Duke has fallen from grace. Quickly! Quickly! First Enchanter! Champion! You've survived, thank the Maker! We must... And here you are! Let us speak, Meredith! Before this battle destroys the city you claim to protect! I will entertain a surrender. Nothing more. Here I am, about to defend these mages in hopeless battle. You lead me to strange places, Hawk. I'll take you to stranger places than this. Just watch. A tempting offer. I may not get the chance to say this again. Meeting you was the most important thing that ever happened to me, Hawk. Promise me you won't die. I can't bear the thought of living without you. I don't make that promise unless you do. Nothing is going to keep me from you. I will... not... Be defeated! <gasps> Make her heed your humble servant!
Word of the slaughter spread quickly. The champion's name became a rallying cry, a reminder that the mighty Templars could be defied. She had defended the mages against a brutal injustice, and many lived to tell the tale. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. More Templars arrived at Kirkwall to restore order, but we were already long gone. We vanished into the hills, and circumstance eventually forced us all to leave the Champion's side. Well, all of us except for Fenris. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if at the core remains the truth. A new legend had been born. <laughs>